2015 saw continued change in the South Sydney market. Residential development sites, creative office conversions are really impacting on supply. It didn't impact on demand and take up of space. We saw 138,000 metres leased within the market in the 1500 plus range in the 2015 calendar year. This was 45% up on 2014, so it's so quite a dramatic increase. What we found was 43% of that take up of space was in the, uh, the freight and logistics sector. What's interesting to note is, is out of that 43%, 69% of that was actually air freight users repositioning themselves in the market for the longer term. One trend we are seeing is the, the traditional air freight users moving down into what we predominantly consider the seaport precinct. This is so they can firm up their footprint in South Sydney in close proximity to the airport, outside of what they traditionally call their, their core markets of Alexandria and Mascot, which are being impacted by that residential development. Maintaining accessibility, hours of operation, ease of access and turnaround times. All of the activity we've seen in South Sydney over the 2015 year has had a significant impact on the vacancy levels, with them dropping to, to, to 10 year lows. What this has done is put upward pressure on rents. A-grade buildings in the Port Precinct are achieving 165 a metre. Incentives remain stable at 8 to 10%. Some of the trends we're seeing in the South Sydney market presently are consolidation of operations whereby businesses keep their essential operations in the Port Precincts and move all non-essential operations out into fringe markets like the Western Sydney or the South West. The outlook for 2016 is positive. The continued constraint of supply will keep upward pressure on rents. Tenants will continue to look to secure their long-term future in the South Sydney market, meaning that as an investor, you'll be able to secure long-term quality tenants within your South Sydney property portfolio. The constraint of supply of industrial stock in the South Sydney market will have a continued positive effect on capital values. We see this demand continuing, particularly in the first half of 2016. Finally, we'd like to thank you for all of your support in the 2015 year. We look forward to working with you again in 2016 and what will be a very exciting year in the South Sydney market.